Hello newbies, welcome to my new video. In today's video, we are going to hack accessing private GraphQL post lab from Web Security Academy. So this is a blog page that contains a hidden blog post that has a secret password. So our mission is very easy, just to find this hidden block and then find its secret password. But before doing that, let's going to install NQL extension. So as you can see, guys, I'm using Perpsuit Community Edition. So if you want to use a professional edition, you're absolutely free. But in this lab, you don't really need that. So let's go to extensions. Then let's go to B App Store. And then in the search, let's write NQL. And here we go. Let's select it. Let's make this more bigger. And let's scroll down until you see the install button. And let's click it. So guys, to be aware that this extension has a little bit impact on your system. So as you can see that this indicator changed to the medium, it means that the extension is a little bit heavy on your perp suit. So whenever you don't need this extension, you can absolutely delete it. And this is how we do it. Let's go to install it, then select it and then remove it. So in case that I need it right now, I'm not going to remove it. And now let's go to hack. And here we go, guys. So first, let me activate the Foxy Proxy and let's choose the Community Edition. And then let's go to Proxy. And in case that I don't need to intercept any request, I will double click to intercept is off and on. And then let's go to HTTP history. Let's refresh the page. And here we go. Now we do have three requests and one of them is a GraphQL endpoint. So let's take this one and let's see. Okay, I think it's the request that we needed. So let's send it to repeater and let's check it more. Okay, let's resend the request. And here we go. Now we can find that this is a JSON format and it contains a get all blog posts. So this is a good indicator that it's a GraphQL uh, result. This is because we have a data attribute and we have a GraphQL the endpoint and also it use a post method. And as you can see, guys, we have a new item in here called inquiry. So let's go in there and check. And here we go. So guys, this is a GraphQL query and we have get all block post and then we have four attributes in here. So actually, this is not a schema. This is just a query format. So maybe we have more attributes in there and we will see it when we use inquiry scanner. But before doing that, let's check the result. And here we go. Now we do have an array. It means we have a lot of posts in here. So let's check them. And as you can recognize, we found that the first one has the ID one. The second one has the ID four and then ID five and then ID two. And this is a little bit weird that there isn't an ID three. So maybe this is a hidden post that we are looking for. So how can we check it? So just let's go to pretty and let's copy the URL and let's go into inquel scanner and let's paste it in here and then let's click load. So this extension is going to find me the real schema that can help me to read more details about the query. So let's double click and here we go. We only have a queries. So I don't think that we have mutation in here. Let's moving forward, moving forward. And here we go. As you can see, we do have two queries. So one of them is get all the posts. So this is it. So this is what we found in here. And the second one is get blog post. So it looks similar. So nothing is different, only the name. And then it has the ID in here. So we will see it. But first, let's check this one. Let's copy all the attributes and let's check it in the repeater. Let's paste it in here and let's resign the request again. And here we go. Now we have more details about the blocks. So we have a date, we have a summary, image, author, is private, title, paragraphs, ID, and post password. So this is can be the hidden password that we are looking for also. But before that, let's check the details we have. So let's see. 
So this is private false. And now we have many informations. And here we go. So to make it more easy for us to read the result, let's just remove the paragraphs and let's remove um, the summary and also the date. I don't think it's necessary for now. And let's see. And here we go. Now the details is more short that we can read. And I can recognize that we have is a private false repeated in each blog. So this can be confused a little bit because maybe this is attribute where this query is filter the blocks. So maybe the third or the ID number three has is a private equal true. So that's why we cannot find it in here. So what we, got, what we are going to do now, let's go to the NQL scanner and let's use the second query. And here we go. Let's copy it and let's go to repeater and paste it. Okay, in case that we don't really need paragraph and summary and date. I, so let me test it with the first blog and have the ID number one. So I should see, uh, don't believe everything you read in the title. And here we go. So this is it. So it's the same block. And now let me try if we can see the hidden block, maybe the ID three. And here we go. Now, as I said, is a private now is a true. So this is why we didn't see it. And guess what? Now we can see the password. So let me copy it. And now let's go to submit solution and let's paste it. Here we go. Now we hack it successfully. And thank you for watching my video and stay tuned for the next videos. Bye.